In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create these elements here, for example, a list item, and when we hover over certain item, for example, this one will trigger immediately the tooltip of this data set here and that one as well, and this one here on the very first data set here. And as you can see here, as we hover over them, and if I go away, they disappear as well. And same if we go here, it still works all nicely together. So let's start to explore how we can combine the elements here together with Chart.js. So let's start to look how to show the tooltip in Chart.js by hovering on HTML elements. So the first thing what we need is we need to get the chartjs 3com or getting started this specific link here above. This link is also in the description box. Scroll down and then copy this entire chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So I'm going to paste all of that in there. Once I paste that in there, I'll cut out that and I'll just put it in here, save it, there we are. So now we have this and what I want to do now is to make a simple list item, but you can do anything. It could be paragraphs, it could be buttons, it could be uh, uh, tables, anything you want, it's all in there. It's all possible with this, but I will just make a simplified list item here. So I'm going to say here a uh, unordered list. And then within this unordered list, I'm going to say here a list item and I'll say here, this is Monday. Let's say month for Monday here because you have these labels here and I want to have them all of them. However, I will put in here a, a functionality which is the on mouse uh, over. So when we are on mouse over, so basically hover, in that case I want to say show tooltip. And I will leave this parameter temporarily or this argument here for blank and later on I'm going to use that. And let's duplicate this multiple times first so we have them from Monday till Sunday all right Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so for all the numbers here I want to put in here a argument and the argument will be based on the index number in this case we have this label says index 0 all the way to index 6 meaning because in an array in JavaScript is zero based counting so it starts at zero however there there is a length of seven in this case so we're going to say zero one two three four five and six so once we have this we're going to scroll down here and we're going to start to trigger let's grab this functionality here we're going to trigger this now so I want to say a function and this function should be show tooltip and let's say here the uh, data I want to give it a data index as a value name. Then I'll say console log data index. It should not be too deep, but a data index. Save that and refresh. So, all right, so we have this here. If I open up the developer tab, let me refresh one more time. You can see here, as I hover on the items here, you can see it shows. And if you really look carefully, like the length of this is very long. So, we can adjust that, but in this case, I will leave the CSS and the visual aspects as it is so what i want to do now is we have this and i want to trigger now the tooltip here but i want to do one more thing you can see here this background color is hard to see there's a slight adjustment however what i want to do now is i want to give the background color a solid border color so what the border color red should be solid in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the border color values put it in here and I'm going to say here, hover background color. Save that, refresh. So now if I hover, you can see here the background color on hover event is shown as solid. So now I have that, and that is later on, that, or that will be very useful for us now. So now we have that, what I want to do is start to trigger the functionalities. So what I'm going to say here is I'm going to say my chart dot to tip. Basically, what we're getting here is the my chart, which is the object, the chart object, and then we're going to go in the tooltip uh, uh, array or the value or object, and then within here, I'm going to use a command which is set active elements, and then I'm going to put in here brackets. So parentheses brackets, enter enter, then here curly braces. And within here, I'm going to say now data set index equals zero. 
because we only have one data set. And secondly, we have here the index, and the index will be colon data index. So the reason I didn't give this maybe as well as index, because we would overwrite the values here that could create confusion. So if I save this now and then refresh, we should be able to see a tooltip being triggered. As you can see here, it is still a bit stuck. That's all right, we're going to work on that. So we have this here and now it, it works nicely. So what I'm going to do here is to force that was the my chart dot update. Let's do that one at least. Save that, refresh. And now we have this, and if I hover over here, there we are. So this works, but what about the color here? So let's start to work on that. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this again, put in here, but now instead of my chart dot tooltip, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to say set active on this, so it will color the bar now there we are so now it starts to color the bar but what i want to do as well is for the data set and you can see here if i move away here the tooltip will stay forever active so we're going to work on that as well but what i want to do here first is i want to convert the item here so imagine you would have multiple data sets here then you want to change that so i'm going to put it here and just say zero we can just duplicate this and i'll just Place them all in here. So the first value would be the data set value, and the second value is the data index, or basically the uh, label, or more specifically in this case, the value itself. So what I'm going to say here, this will be we have here the tooltip, we have this data set, and then here data index. So this should be here to avoid double naming. I'm going to just say here, this will be the data set. And this data set can be set in here as well. If I save this now, refresh, you can see here it will work nicely. And if I would add up now a new data set, let's do that. Put a comma here, all right. And then I'll just save that one. And what I will say here is will be number one and one. Save that, refresh. You can see if I move over here, that's number one. And then here, data set index zero. All right, that works, but how do we remove now the item? For that, what we need to do here is, within the unordered list, I want to say here now the following. I want to say on mouse out, which is basically, here is when you hover on the item, and here is when you hover away from it. So on mouse out, what I want to do then is uh, equal quotation. And we can just say here, Hide tooltip. And here we don't have any parameters, we don't need anything except for the height tooltip. So, what I'm going to do here is function height tooltip. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the items here. We can even grab all of this. We have here setting them as active because of this, but now if you remove all these values, so there's no more, in that case, it should it nicely so if I save that refresh all right so there and then we're going to hover and then away all right you can see here it moves one part but of course not the tooltip why we only have the set active but we have to get this one as well just put it in here over basically I can just duplicate this put it in there tooltip dot save refresh now all right this all works and go down here this all works nicely with the colors and move away there we are move away and move away there we are so this is the way how you can play around with the tooltip and make basically a element any element you want interactive with chart.js itself so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want instead of this you want to create a table as well and the table should be based of your data in chart.js I have a whole video with that because those two together is absolutely phenomenal. Where you can create your own table here and then eventually, uh, so basically this is the video how to create a table from the data set in Chart.js where we get the data from, the, from Chart.js and convert it into a table and then you can combine that basically with what we did here. That together will make it very, very nice.